Hey everyone, my name is Adisha and welcome to Learn with Adisha. Today, I'm just going to be teaching you about waves. You know water waves, right? Right? Of course you do. They're like super common and you see them nearly every day. So this is a visualization of a water wave. Can you see it? Pretty simple, right? I'll switch that into a side view so you can see better. But what does this have to do with anything? I'll show you. This is a sound wave. I'll just play. Whoa, that's a deep sound. That's an extremely deep sound. Um, I'll just share it now. Can you hear it? Ah, that's a deep sound. Now what even is going on? Now I'll turn on particles. Did you see it? Still no? I get it. It's a bit confusing. So I'll turn on both. Now can you see it? Yes? Good. If you can't, I'll explain it to you. I'll pause. So these things, these white areas with tons of air molecules in there, they're called compressions. Guess what this is? Transverse or longitudinal? Longitudinal. This is a sound wave. It's a longitudinal wave. And it needs a medium to travel. What's a medium? Good question. Even I was wondering about that. I have a box with me right now. And if I knock on it it makes sound right exactly that's a medium it's a substance for those waves to travel through but as you'll see later not all waves require mediums this is a sound wave it does require mediums because it's what's called a longitudinal wave okay can you see it uses compressions and these things, these black areas, tell me what they're called before I can. One, two, three, four, five. They're called rare factions. So, sound waves and longitudinal waves like them use things like rare, fraction, rare factions and compressions that oscillate between each other. We'll take a look at the side view. And you'll see it looks exactly the same. If this was a solid, this was exactly what's happening. But one thing to know, even I got this wrong in my exams, but I would like to say that it was kind of a foolish mistake. My teacher asked me, what is the fastest, I mean, what is the medium that gives sound the fastest speed and i answered a gas but that was wrong it's a solid because its particles are more densely packed together and can push each other what do i mean by push each other as you'll see in the as you see in the simulation these compressions are pushing the air molecules the air molecules inside are not moving themselves, they're pushing the others. Like if you had a giant line and you push one person into the other, the other pushes the other over and over until it reaches the front of the line, right? Or like a series of dominoes. Now I'll use light. This is a light wave. What do I mean by it? It's something called a longit I mean a transverse wave, okay? This is a transverse wave. 
So it has this kind of thing. And I'll show you later about what exactly it's like. Like, can you see this moving up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down? Yeah, can you see that? That is what a trans... That's what a transverse wave kind of looks like. It's just going up and down, up and down. But I'll tell you something. You see this line right here? That's called the rest position, the middle. The distance from the rest position to one of these places, a crest or trough, is called the amplitude of the wave, the maximum displacement from the equilibrium. Now, what's a wavelet? You might have heard this before, but a wavelength, all it is, it's just the distance from one crest to one crest, one trough to one trough, or one single oscillation, which means like one down, one up. Like that. Can you see? But since we're using time here and not distance, we can't say wavelength here. We can say something like time period. And there's a bunch of formulas that you need to know, and I'll show you. Nice, they have a feature here. So one of the equations that you need to know is mm, um, V equals F lambda. What's this lambda? It's wavelength. This lambda is wavelength. This F is frequency, how many waves cross a certain point in one second, that's the frequency and it's measured in hertz, H, Z, okay? It's measured hertz, very simple. This is measured, wavelength is measured in meters. And this is measured in meters per second. Why meters per second? It should be meters times hertz. Meter hertz, right? Mm, you see, hertz has its own formula. F equals 1 over time period or T, this time period we were talking about. And this T is measured in seconds. It's measured in seconds. So when we do that, it's just saying meter times one over um, second. So we can just say that it's one over, I mean, a uh, meter over second, which is meter per second. So that is why, uh, wait, um, speed is measured in meters per second for waves. Okay. That's basically all you need to know for waves. Of course, there's more definitions, but I recommend you some websites called things like Bite Size, Physics and Maths Tutor, and best of all, Save My Exams. I recommend all of them if you want to check out more about waves. But for now, this is all that you need to know to get started, okay? See you in the next one. Goodbye.